so basically today I'm just gonna do a quick vlog be like a 15 20 minute vlog um showing you my daughter's dollhouse that I made from scratch from cardboard foam board you name it I put it in there it was materials from Bunnings Kmart spotlight from the house and random dollar store in our area so hopefully you guys get some ideas on how you can personalize customize your um, children's dollhouse if you I suppose have the effort or the time to make such things I did at first I thought it was gonna be a quick project but it wasn't um, I started it last year and it has taken me um, multiple attempts to try to finish it because obviously there was multiple levels to it and it I managed to finally finish it it was my goal during the first lockdown in Australia or Victoria in Victoria um, to finish that project and I did and I thought I'd share it with you guys and see your thoughts and see whether it's something that you might want to um, do yourself as well during you know this times of lockdown because we're on a second lockdown in Victoria <laughs> or anyone else in the world that might have the time um, so hopefully you enjoy it and um, one website as well I would I recommend as fun and crafts I love her vlogs I basically got my, most of the ideas from her how to make the hinges work the doors cupboards and all that stuff love her vlog so um, not sponsored or anything but it's one um, vlogging channel on youtube that i highly recommend so hopefully you enjoy thank you that's how big the dollhouse is so there's the door handle and her dollhouse lives in that corner of her room that is almost as tall as her so the dollhouse um is three levels it's made by with um heavy duty moving boxes it's like the double um layer insulated ones and with balsa wood lots of stuff that was repurposed um, foam boards and vinyl stickers and more foam boards and then the rest of them were um, used up from some of the barbie furniture that we purchased and toy toy world or Toys R Us when they were closing down so that's pretty much the scale of how big it is I'm just gonna give you so that's the inside part so you got the first level second and third and then I can't be bothered moving it but this is the back of or the front of the house so this is a vinyl sticker I got from Daiso which is like brick or um, style wall and the wall uh, the windows have got some um, see-through plastic to it and then which I got, got also from Daiso which were those clear folders um, I used for windows and then same with this um, cardboard and that's a placement I got from Kmart which I cut custom cut for the windows it's even got a window sill in the inside more windows curtains repurposed from one of our old curtain curtains from spotlight which I also have the same one in our rooms more and this door is it opens so there's no hinge to this because this is actually the fold of the box so I kind of just re like used it and you can close it and it closes this is the side so this is a multiple trip to Bunnings which are the um, um, paint card that you can get it's a specific one I can't quite remember but it's really good it gives that um brick tiling effect on the wit on the um this the roof 
And then my daughter. This, this is the foam um, brick sticker thing as well, which we got from Daiso. And then another functioning door with a little light. I'll show that function to you later. So you can open this. So this one is the door to the balcony, which my daughter painted the balcony railings made out of popsicle stick. And we got vinyl sticker from Bunnings. It's like a paved stone looking thing. I'm not quite sure what they explain. And some mats. Again, blinds. This window is open. There's no glass effect to that because I've literally forgotten. But it's got a blind. The blinds can be moved up and down as well. So we'll start from the bottom. So I'm just going to move this back. Sorry about that. Sorry if you're getting dizzy with my the way I filmed this. But this was a bit of a last minute. So I'm just going to move it back to where it belongs. So this is her... Oh, no, there's like a foot thing there for the door. So this is her dollhouse. This one is actually last minute as well. She decided she wanted to have a garden feature. Wanted a pole because she watched too much of this fun and craft vlog online. We love that. Well, I love it because it gave me all of these ideas to like custom her dollhouse from that video vlogs on how to make your own dollhouse from cardboard boxes and foam boards. And it's really amazing. Um, not as good as hers, but, you know, close enough to what my ability can do. So this one is just like... So as I was saying, so this is like a detachable garden. My daughter wanted it last minute. So we just recycled one of the old artificial plants from Ikea. Cut it up. Put some pebbles in there. And then we, Kelly, is it Kelly? I'm not even sure. The kid Barbie, it came with this um, little picnic table. What's up? <laughs> so, and then we made this little outdoor thing. We can just attach it there to the kitchen and we have this outdoor wicker style couch sofa that Barbie can go in and enjoy made with um, cleaning sponge and recycled tea towels from Kmart as well and then this is the kitchen so we have this function which is the light what's up Baba? This is my toy bunny. Her name is Glitter Bunny. Glitter Bunny. Huh. So we've got this first floor. Um, so this part here is two layers. The first layer has all the holes to stick. I've stuck all these fairy lights in to make um, an LED style ceiling with lights. Because every house has to have a light. You can see there's a feature wall, stairs, which Barbie can barely fit. It was like a last minute thing that Barbie needed in her house. And we've got movable curtains as well. Made a popsicle stick. Thank you. And then we've got a L-shaped lounge suite chasey thing. Made with cleaning sponge hand sewn cushion, recycled um, cushion material, balsa wood and foam board I believe as well. This is a cup holder. I just put a marble vinyl on it for effects, you know, because Barbie's got to be fancy. And then we've got some taupe. Um, the TV is from Barbie set as well together with the 
um, fake plant that was just like a miniature one um, from Daiso. Um, little footstool poof. And this is the door from the front, which you've seen earlier. A divide, division carpet. This is a tile carpet. So this is a tile carpet. I just bought one tile from Bunning and I stuck it on the cardboard to give that carpet tile carpet effect in this lounge area. And then we've got another vinyl. This is actually from Kmart. And then recycled from the Barbie set. It's an island table. So all the stuff. And all those cupboards are functional. Curtain as well. Cupboards are all open. So we've got items in there from the Coles minis. So Coles mini Coles is like the grocery store in Australia and they used to like do all these miniatures um grocery items like Vegemite and tomato sauce and water bottles and then all these little cute bento boxes, cupcakes, sandwich, many more. There was like a cake as well this is in the fridge and you've got a mixture of um cakes and other foods and grocery stuff which are um mixture from Coles minis and um eraser uh, food items from Daiso. She love purchasing them to collect to her um collection to add to her collection may i say there's even like a plate of curry japanese curry and rice how cute is that oopsie daisy now i've lost the food anyway so that's just there because the fridge is full and she's just shoved it everywhere so my camera keeps going out of focus and under the sink you've got a top made of glue gun and um What was it made of? A paper clip? The sink is in there. There's dishes under there. You've got dog food because she's got a dog and a cat. That's from the Coles minis as well and some dishwashing stuff. So the cupboard's open. They all have hinges which are made of nails. So there's a hinge there. I wish I did it on like a tutorial but it just took me forever. I haven't had the time to even do, do it. The oven opens. And then you've got grillings there that can be taken off. And there's a pizza in there cooking, which is also an eraser um, from Daiso. So that is the first floor. So, apologies for the noise in the background. Kids are listening to Baby Shark. It's like never ending. They don't get sick of it. Now, this is the second floor. This is the um, Kmart. Kmart. Um, placemat that um, you can roll up. Blinds. Um, roll it up to get. I'm supposed to get some light in if Barbie cared. And we use pegs baby pegs little peg craft pegs to pin it up like that so you can hold the blinds rolled up and same scenario we've got fairy lights in here which I got from Aliexpress they're just poking through holes from the ceiling as you can see there's two layers of um, uh, board in there they were cardboard as well um, cardboard boxes and I put balsa with this to like finish the trimming. So this is the kids bathroom. I've got a nicer bathroom in there. So this is made of um, a headphone for the shower <laughs> head. And you got this little see-through folder that I've cut out just to like give it a glass effect for water to stop splattering. There's a towel. Hey, towel bar. I'm not, I don't know what. 
I can't focus. They're so noisy. And then we've got the this one is from ba um, Bunnings as well. They've got really good variety of vinyl um, wall stickers. And that one is from Kmart. Um, toilet from a a sticky putty toy which was contained in a toilet container so I've just painted it white and then used it and then we've got this mirror proper mirror and then you've got lollipop stick painted silver or the sink little top sink cupboards opens all the cupboards opens there's towels in there and toilet cleaner which is also a mini Kohl's um, item random shoe this was the original sofa that I made for her doll original dollhouse before um, but I decided I wanted to make a better one and then this became kind of like a spare sofa in the kids room I've got a feature wallpaper which Tala picked from one of my cr um, crafting I can't even remember what the word is for that you know the um, when you scrapbook scrapbook and paper there you go <laughs> <laughs> and then this window blinds do open as well same scenario as this one you can roll it up peg it and you can look out outside and then we've got drawers they're all functional as well a bunk bed we've got a soft cushioning on there ladder on the side made out of popsicle stick and foam boards and the uh, shades are all um, just basically materials that I've had already have at home and then oh no Elsa's boots drawers white balsa wood drawer and it's just got all this random stuff that the I can't open it what's in there it's hard to open it with one one hand to lay there eventually it'll open because it's so fitted it's stuffed with all this thing fairy wings from one of the thing kids barbie and nappy anyway you get the idea all the drawers can be opened if it lets me nope i'm gonna put you down for a sec look at the floor <clears throat> Anyway, back to it. It is it is all functional. There's stuff in there and it's just been shoved so I can't open it properly. So that's that. It opens to the balcony and then you've got the hinge for the balcony's um, nails as well. So it's like hinge from the top down. Had to get really long nail to make it reach and same scenario down the bottom. Leads out to the balcony which has also got an outdoor light. So that's all one fairy light so yeah anyway moving on this bloody house is actually nicer looking than my house and then going up to the third floor let's just turn on the lights so this one's slightly different because it's got an open um, ceiling effect to it there and they got beams because I got I don't know if it was like a factor I got lazy I actually painted this one rather than putting vinyl on it because it was the last one and I thought why not here's um one of the candles relaxing on the master bed this bed is probably the best one I've made it's got a thicker foam which is also made out of sponges foam board it's got legs Amazing. It's got board. This one doesn't have light, but it's like an effect to it. Stairs. More drawers. This is a recycled drawer from one of my DKNY watches, watch box. And there's more clothes in there. I believe shoes as well that Tala has shoved. This window is functional. Blinds can be rolled up and pegged and can let light 
natural light in there as well so even funny with this house is that i've put in skirtings <laughs> for all the walls except for the bathroom so there are skirtings and um the wall um if you know it, if you can see them so it's quite good and then didn't have enough space but i wanted barbie to have a wardrobe a functioning wardrobe so i've got a dowel i made these hangers with paper clips all the um clothes there's actually more clothes than that and she's got her um evening gown like puffy big evening gowns i purchased from the visoria in philippines for her and more um two-piece types of clothing like a t-shirt shorts dresses I don't know why can shoes is there. Maybe they're easier to um, put up because they're not heels. But majority of Barbie's shoes are in here because she's just got so much. And then you got a fake plant, faux plant, effect to that. It's kind of like an open, um, open plan master bedroom, as you can see. <laughs> shower same scenario used um, earphones to it um, and then Kmart vinyl stick a wall there is and there is oh my god where is it here there is a, ha a towel rail that tiling there I can't get my finger in there I literally have to squeeze in the Barbie to get them to the bathroom it's like a last minute thing must put an ensuite in this room on the third floor it's like the biggest floor um ensuite toilet and that um tile down there hangnail is from daiso and um uh, got this beautiful mirror with some lighting effects to it as well it's pretty much a continuation from the same fairy lights um, faucet, tap, marble effect, sink, towels, shaving, a shaver, focus, there you go, shaver for Ken, not that he needs it, but it's there, shelves under the sink, and a mat, so that is my daughter's dollhouse. I hope you get some ideas and I apologize if I haven't been able to actually show you step by step on how to do it but hopefully me explaining the materials where I got them from and how to recycle any materials that you have at home that you can use let's use your imagination go wild make it more realistic that is you know that your daughter can imagine and relate at the same time with it to her little barbie doll house would be amazing so hopefully you enjoy this little short video clip i know i babbled on too much but um thank you so much for watching my vlog today see you later bye